Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to finally be sharing with you my living room makeover video. I've been working on putting this together for probably the last like two months. And so I'm so excited to finally share it with you. Okay, I wanted to give you guys just a before shot of what my living room looked like before I started doing anything to it. It's pretty bare from Christmas. I've put up a few things. Normally I have some pictures here and then my blue chair. Well, I really like the way it looks up in my bedroom. So I'm gonna get a new chair for in there. And then I'm gonna keep this cabinet because this holds like all of our electronics, unless I find something I like a little bit better, but I'm gonna be redoing the whole mantle and definitely getting a new rug. I just really want to concentrate on doing some new wall art. I've never really done anything to this corner, so I want to do something here and then um, possibly around here, and I'm definitely getting some kind of wall art piece for this corner. As far as my couch, um, I'm going to keep this existing couch. I'd love to get a new one, but couches are expensive so we'll probably just stick with this maybe update the pillows okay so we're getting ready to lay the new rug down it was amazing all the stuff we found under our old rug super gross um but i have everything vacuumed so now it's time to lay down the new rug so I love this new rug that I got, and I will link it down in the description box. Anything that I'm talking about in this video, I have a link for. I love the way it looks, but it definitely still has those bumps in it. So I'm doing everything I can to try to get those bumps out. I recently shared with you how I updated this coffee table. I will link to that video in the description. Essentially, I just changed out the legs with my old coffee table. I had a lot of mixed reviews on it. I'm happy with it and I think it works better in my space. To decorate my coffee table, I'm really using all thrifted items. Um, this first piece I picked up at a thrift store, it's just marble and has a wood center. I think whenever you're decorating a coffee table, you need something to anchor your decor. So that could be a tray, that could also be a basket, something to just kind of put things in. It will look 10 times nicer if you have something to anchor your decor versus it just all sitting out by itself. The other thing you want to think about when you're decorating your coffee table is adding in decorations that are at varying levels. So the highest thing on my coffee table is not really gonna be that high because on a coffee table, you're, you know, you'd want to be able to see over it. So you don't want anything too high. I recently spray painted this um, pottery in a black color. This little sprig I picked up at Walmart and that's just going to be the tallest thing sitting out on my tray. Now I love using brass candle holders. So I have these two that are just going to be over here. I like to keep my decor in groupings of three or five. So this makes a cute little grouping of three. Next, I'm going to add in some wood beads. This is just going to add in some texture. I get asked all the time where I got these. Mine actually originally were from Hobby Lobby. I was lucky enough to pick them up at a thrift store for a dollar. Somebody brought them there. But if you need them, you can get them at Hobby Lobby. I also have videos on my channel where I show you how to make them. So you could do that as well. Now, what I'm going to do with these is just kind of put them I'm just going to move them in an interesting pattern and then I'm going to try to tuck these into the back of my tray so you can't see the ends. I also really like having coasters sitting on my table because I don't want anybody to put a drink down on my wood. So I have these marble coasters. Again, they are thrifted. So that's all you need for putting together a coffee table. So for my living room, I really wanted some big, bold wall art pieces. And so I really wanted to have a mirror in this space. But when I was looking on like a lot of the websites, a lot of these mirrors were like $200 and it wasn't even what I was looking for. So I went to my favorite store, the ReStore. They always have mirrors there. And I came across this really cool one. It was wood and I knew that I could paint it to really fit into my space. And you guys won't believe it was only $10. 
So the first thing I did with my mirror is just tape off the actual mirror portion so that I could paint it. So I just put painter's tape around the edges And then I came in with some copy paper that I also taped down as well. Once I got the mirror taped up, I came in with a copper metallic spray paint and just sprayed the whole entire piece. Now I wasn't really concerned about getting it completely covered. I honestly liked a little bit of that wood showing through. I wanted this mirror to have an antique presence to it. So I'm mixing a lot of colors. So variation with this is good for me. So once the metallic spray paint had a chance to dry, I brought it inside and I'm gonna use some of my ink by Waverly. And what I did with the ink was I just kind of sporadically put it around the frame and then I came in with a cloth and just wiped it off. I was wanting kind of a distressed appearance to it, just a little bit of black in the edges and corners just to give it more of that antique feel. Next, I'm gonna add in a metallic gold acrylic and I'm gonna put it on the same way I did the black. I'm just gonna kind of lightly put it around my piece and wipe it off. And can you guys believe for $10, I have an amazing wall art piece for my living room. I have a cream colored cabinet in the corner next to this mirror and to decorate it I'm using a white vase and I wanted to add some sprigs to it so I went to Target. They have several spring sprigs out right now. I found these two that were five dollars each and I picked up two of them. So with the sprigs I just tied them at the bottom with a rubber band. Next, I'm just going to bend the stems in half because I felt like they were a little bit long for my container. And then from there, all you have to do is just kind of move them around until you get that desired look that you're going for. And I think it really adds to this corner. So moving on to my mantle, I love decorating my mantle and I am a sucker for candles. I love picking up these brass candle holders at the thrift store. You could get them for a couple of dollars. So I'm just going to put a grouping of six of them on one side of my mantle. On the other side of my mantle, I'm going to be putting in these two blue vases. I picked these up at Ross and they were such a good deal. I think they look adorable sitting out. In one of them, I'm gonna put an Ikea plant. I buy all of my plants at Ikea and it's just easy. Next to the blue vases, I just have a Dollar Tree rope tray. These are so easy to make. All you need is a clear tray from Dollar Tree and you wrap around the nautical rope and I just think they look so cute sitting out on my mantle. For the bottom of my mantle, I didn't want to put too much. I recently found this asparagus crate at a flea market. It was only $5 and so adorable. I wanted it to actually have a deeper look to it, so I used coffee to stain it. All you have to do is wet some coffee grounds and then you can just paint it on and then wipe off the excess grounds. It's so easy and such an easy way to give your piece a little bit of stain. I also added in an Ikea plant in there. Next to my asparagus crate, I added in a cheese box that I picked up for $5 at a flea market as well. And then I'm just gonna finish it off by adding in a few books and a little bit of greenery.
Now to the left side of my fireplace, I wanted to get a new chair because you guys know I had that blue chair there, but I took it up to my bedroom and I'm loving the way it looks in there. So I got a new chair from Kirkland's. I'm in love with it. I just think it's so adorable and fits perfectly in my space. I really wanted to have a couple of tables in the corners just to add a little bit of interest. So I picked up this brown table at Ross. I think it was around $20. And then when I was antiquing, I found this white stool that I thought would make a great side table as well. The stool that I picked up had a lot of extra paint on it and wasn't in very good shape. So instead of painting on top of it, what I decided to do was use my electric sander and just remove paint. Because a lot of times when you have something that's old like that, there'll be several layers of paint underneath. And once you start stripping that away, it looks really cool. So I just electric sanded it until I had just like a really cool chippy look to my table. And to finish off my tables, I have this wood piece and this really awesome scale that I picked up for $5 at a thrift store. On the smaller table, I'm going to put a plant and a planter from a recent IKEA DIY video that I made. I finally found the piece that I was looking for to put behind this chair. I've been looking for several weeks and I was at this antique store in Kansas City and I just found this screen door and thought it was perfect. It was kind of old and I just loved the look of it and I thought it would really fill up that wall and that space. So to dress up my screen door, I picked up three wreaths from Hobby Lobby. I always buy them when they are half price and these were actually kind of smaller wreaths, so I grabbed three of them. To attach these wreaths to my door, I just got some of my twine. I looped in three pieces of twine. And then at the bottom, I just tied them off in a knot, cut the pieces and put them behind it so you couldn't see my knot. And I love the way it just kind of adds a little bit of visual interest. You could always just add a simple wreath, but I felt like this gave it a little bit something different. So I stayed with my old couch. It's only probably about three years old, so there's nothing wrong with it. I'd love to have a new one, but couches are pretty expensive. So if you're wanting a new look and you don't have the resources to update your couch, you could always change out your pillows. So I found these really cute ones on Amazon. I'll definitely link them below in the description box. I found like this macrame one that I thought was adorable and this other one that was kind of like black and white. And before my pillows were kind of in more of a blue tone, so I thought this would give me a different look. Beside my couch, I picked up this little white basket with this lid at an antique store. I thought it was adorable. 
and I thought it'd be so cute just sitting beside my couch. I added in a throw blanket that I already had on hand and I just think it really helps to finish off my couch. Now behind my couch, I've been thinking for a while what I wanted to put behind there. And I really wanted to add in a cool floor lamp. I found this one on Target's website, thought it was adorable, and I think it really helps to kind of make my space look a little bit more cozy and warm it up a bit. So behind my couch, I'm sticking with my same table, but I changed out my decor. I was shopping at Ross for those blue vases and I came across these really adorable lamps and thought they were perfect. They were $30 each, which I thought was a great deal and they're pretty substantial. If you can't find them at Ross, another place I really like to buy lamps is Hobby Lobby. And so I'm just going to put those on either side of my table. So I also found this cool little crate at the antique store for $7.50. And the way they had it displayed there was they had these really cute books in it, but I was not about to buy those books. I knew that I could put that together myself. So I just got a couple of books that I had bought at the thrift store that had the covers ripped off of them. Next, you wanna just take some twine and wrap it around your books and then tie it in the middle. So I just added my books to my container and then I added in a wreath that was from Legacy Home Decor. And I think this little grouping looks so adorable. On the other side, I just added in these three candle stands that I already had on hand and a picture of my girls. I picked up this really awesome crate at an antique store. And I thought it would look really cool underneath this table. So I'm gonna put that under my table and just add a pillow to that. So here's a final look at how my living room looks all done. I hope you guys got some great inspiration for updating your space. I hope that you see how I use things from the thrift store, new items, and just kind of put them all together to make a cohesive space. If you're new here, make sure that you're subscribed. And if you missed our last DIY, I'll link it here for you. And I'll talk to you guys in our next one. Bye.